I really wanted to like my dad's Christmas Day. This is the 2020 British Christmas film directed by Mick Davis. The reason why I emphasise that it's a British Christmas film is because I watched this on Amazon Prime and there are very few British Christmas films on there. So I was quite surprised, pleasantly surprised. But to be honest, I didn't like it. I thought the narrative progression was not that great. There were characters in this who I found kind of annoying. Um, very well cast, very well acted, and some of the set designs were really good. The camera work was really good. We had some beautiful long shots, some really good close-ups. There is some kind of dry humorous that works really well because it's kind of dealing with a bit of a depressing subject because our protagonist, David, uh, played by Jeremy Piven, is a, a widowed father, and you can tell that he is struggling He's struggling as a single parent to, to raise his teenage daughter, Jules, but he's also struggling without, you know, what we can assume is the love of his life. So Jules decides to set his father up on a whole bunch of weird dates that he doesn't know about because she creates a dating profile for him, again, that he doesn't know about, and instigates these random encounters. And that, you know, that has the scope of being very funny. And, you know, giving us some pretty awkward situations and dramatic irony where we know what's about to happen or we can work out what's about to happen and David doesn't have the slightest idea. But to be honest, nothing interesting happens. I didn't, I liked the character of David, but I didn't think he was interesting enough. Um, well acted, of course, but I just felt like he was a bit two dimensional. As far as Jules goes, I didn't like her. Uh, Olivia May Barrett is brilliant. I thought she was very well acted. Now, she is a very complex character with a lot going for her and very well written. But I did not like her. I did not like her personality. I did not like who she was as an individual. Obviously, like any good character in a film, she goes through some progression and you know, personal developments and learns more about who she is as a person. And yes, she becomes more likable as the film develops. But honestly, I just didn't get on with her. And maybe it's because I don't really watch films with teenage protagonists anymore because I'm a bit older than that now and just can't relate anymore. Maybe that's all it is. But if you're roughly the same age as her and found her annoying, please let me know. It'd be good to know I'm not alone. So fundamentally, there's nothing bad about this. The premise is good enough. You know, All of the technical aspects I thought were really good. The casting and acting, top notch. But the narrative is where it lets itself down. The premise could have been executed quite fascinatingly, but I feel like it's teetering on being dramatic, but comedic, but not being a dramedy. It never successfully blurs the lines between the two. So I never really felt comfortable watching it because I never really knew whether I was supposed to laugh or cry. If you like that kind of unpredictability, maybe you'll enjoy this. It's also not the most festive film. So... Kind of a disappointment, to be honest. I was pleased when I realised it was a British film, but after having watched it, I feel like my dad's Christmas date could have been a lot better.